Hello guys, GamerJ1 here, and I'm back with another video. And today I'll be starting a vlog. Guess I'm gonna be doing because we're gonna, uh, me and uh, my big sister and family we live with, and we're going to be uh, staying at this hotel-like place on the shore. What you call it in English? It's like um. I guess a small vacation center of some kind, I don't know what you want to call it, like, but sort of a hotel, I guess you could say, except it's not really, you, you have to take care of food yourself and stuff, but what, what, whatever. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, my big sister is out here. She's watching one of my videos right now, where she was, now she's taking pictures, it seems like, I don't know what she's doing, what are you doing? Mm, taking pictures of your legs? No, I'm just, I'm taking a picture so I can text my friend. Alright. I guess, I guess it's just some Twitter or Instagram business you've got with your friends. She's just, she's just chilling. She watched my vlog in SU that I have filmed. Mena or but um, we can just take a look outside. It's pretty dark. So, um, yeah, you <coughs> might be able to see stuff. Well, but there is uh, another room. This is like the main room, that's where we uh, eat up there is the dining room. Um, and then down here is just like the chilling room, I guess you could say. The TV and such. Um, then we got a gas station out over here with a little store where you can buy shit. Like uh, candy. Uh, in Danish we would call it kiosk, I don't know what you would call it in... English, but in Danish, it's pretty much kiosk. Uh, K I O S K. I guess it's different from where you are. We're different from whatever English country you live in. Um, we're uh, different from how it's pronounced, um, I guess, but. Yeah. So um, there's a little look outside. <clears throat> so we're just gonna go back. Now I've actually been um, I've been making doing a mock review on this new tablet I got. So that's something. There's a little some rain white tablet. But, um, yeah, I did a mock review. Uh, I managed to put some parts together to make it mock. So I may upload that. Um, but, um, I guess, hold on. Oh, it's still filming good. So, uh, well, I guess I'm going to end it here. Just so you know, there's probably not going to be a lot of people in in the vlog, simply because, um, yeah, I don't know, I know, it's not everyone that's really much for being filmed, you know, and I'm uh, not really much for foster parents having to, um, be involved in this vlogging thingy, but there's probably going to be some people otherwise it's not going to be that interesting but I think my big sister is definitely going to be in it uh, some more but we're gonna to have to see I'm just going to have to get back to you guys um, tomorrow um, and we'll see now I'm probably gonna get internet soon just gonna to have to couple just have to um, um, look on the internet. Just need the code. Um, 
I'm probably mostly going to be chilling in here while we are here. I don't know. Depends on what's really going to happen. But I guess we're going to have to see what happens. So I'll just get back to you guys in the morning. Another small update for you guys. Eating dinner now, drinking some soda, and eating, um, well, this. So, another small update. Or actually, this is the first one. Like, before tomorrow. But I'm just enjoying my meal, guys. Oh, and Zadok, uh, and Samuel, if you can hear me right now, uh, just know that I might not be able to Skype this evening. Wait, it doesn't even matter if I say this. Uh, I should just message you on Skype. Anyway, um, just another update. Alright, guys, so we're back again. Um, it's, um, Saturday now, so, um, yeah, I woke up a long time ago, I, I know I didn't, um, I didn't, something I guess, I, I was just a little too tired, so I wanted to wait till later, so, so now, we're, start filming so um, I'll just get back to you guys you're going to get to see one of my foster brothers for going to uh, take a little walk he's going to introduce himself so you know gonna get to meet him um, so I'll just uh, get back to you guys then all right guys so this is uh, my foster brother uh, Kenneth um, can you introduce introduce yourself yes I'm Tesla's foster brother Kenneth and we are here walking in the northern western part of Jutland and it's quite windy yeah and Casper uh, asked me to introduce myself and the things I can say that might be interesting in this connection is that I've been playing Warhammer for about 30 years and I still play I play primarily Warhammer 40,000 and the what do you call infiltrated game or skirmish game uh, kill team. Yeah. Also tried a few other strategy games, and I love them. I spend a lot of time doing this. I create my own miniatures. I make different sort of landscapes and stuff that can be used for the war gaming. Yeah. And that's basically the introduction. Yeah, and uh, he got me into Warhammer actually. <laughs> so um, yeah, even though I haven't been focusing mostly on Warhammer. I was thinking maybe if you guys, if you guys want to, I could post more hammer content on my channel too. But I think, I think I'm most likely just going to make a separate channel for that. If, yeah, if not, but if you, uh, if you'd be interested, I guess I can figure something out. Like, but it depends on how much you got because it takes a lot of time to make some of these things and a lot of time to paint it afterwards. Actually, when we walk back, I can show you something I have in the back of my car. It really looks like shit right now, but it's going to be a fantastic bridge one day. All right. Just happen to have with me. We have different things. Of course, we play some guys together, but we also have... Uh, we had an event last Friday where my brother asked... My other brother asked me to, uh, to come and introduce uh, the skirmish game called Mordheim, which is the fantasy version of uh, Age of Sigmar, it's called right now. Uh, but this Mordheim I introduced for some kids and I brought some stuff for that, that's why there's some left in my car. Yeah. Yeah, actually yeah, I'm building my own army up right now. Uh, it's, um, I think it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. Like I'm building two factions right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to make my own kill team. I'm just gonna, uh, but I, I'm just gonna try to, It doesn't matter so much when you make a kill team because a kill team is just a small team 
So if you screw it up completely, you can always catch up later and make another kill team. Exactly. So kill teams are good. I know, I'm, go I'm also going to try that. I've already got some codexes that so I can go for. Um, but, um... Yeah, well, um... Oh yeah, what else we gotta say? If you wanna start playing Kill Team, you should just Google the Kill Team rules. You can download a PDF, it's free of charge. You will need a codex or two from uh, the, the original Games Workshop things. Uh, but to, to begin with, you just need to download the, the, the Kill Team rules from the net. They also have missions and stuff, and you can easily make up your own missions. And it's a fun game, doesn't take too long, like big Warhammer. And when you get into it and you really like it, you can play Warhammer 40,000 with huge armies. And then when you get really crazy, you start playing Apocalypse, where you need to put off an entire weekend to play. You have huge miniatures. It's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, it sounds interesting. I can't wait till I, I really get to, uh, I really get to play it. But um, I guess it's gonna take it take a while. Um, but that's about Warhammer. So, um, of course, the channel is more Bionicle uncle related. I could, of course, uh, try to get Kenan into my uncle, but uh, I don't know. Don't um, have the time right now. Oh. Played too many games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess uh, you could show me the thing I could film, and you show me the thing you have in your car. Yeah, sure. We can do that when we go back. Yeah. I, I also say, if you are a little bit. Like, not too rigid, if you're a little bit uh, open to things, maybe some of the miniatures actually that you use in Bionicle, you can use in connection with Warhammer, like for some of the greater dreadnoughts and stuff, but you cannot use those in, uh, in skirmish games, because you have two, they're too powerful, simply. So Bionicle, you would be able to use one of those as a dreadnought if you played a really Warhammer 40,000 game. Yeah. That would not be a problem. It would actually be quite cool, I think. So you could probably, um, yes, yeah, so you could put some Bionicle elements into your Warhammer games. I don't know if that'll be up to you, but I know I'm probably at some point going to go creative and try to maybe pro make a Bionicle Warhammer crossover. I mean, if that if you could do that somehow, it's always but I don't know. Sorry, it's always a nice thing. Nice thing if you start playing something, if you play with somebody that knows it, and also if you play with somebody that are not too strict about rules. When yeah. you start playing too much, uh, or you start playing somebody who plays according to, like, there's a rule called the Wizzy Week. What you see is what you get, which means you need to have exactly the right thing on every miniature, otherwise you cannot counter like that. It comes a bit rigid, and it can be a little bit not so much fun. Always remember when you play, it's about having fun. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure we're gonna have fun when we're gonna play it because we are at some point. I'm sure of that. Yes. Um, we just need to establish a team. Yeah. So um. Uh, yeah, but um. Actually, there has been or. Lego, sorry. Lego have been uh, made, trying to make a Warhammer theme. Yeah, it was called something about Marines. I think I just saw something about it, like on the internet. Yeah. Like I saw some Lego minifigures. It looked interesting, but it just never became a thing. So um, with Lego? Yeah, exactly. Ah, I know a guy who made something. It's like if you know the old. The old world, Lord of the Rings and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have uh, different races, like you have the elves, yeah. you have the orcs, you have the humans, and you have the dwarves. Basically, yeah. the Warhammer 40,000 universe is a, a version of this universe, of the fantasy. Which means that they have the Eldar. The Eldar are future versions of the elves. Mm. And the humans are the humans and marines, etc. Orcs exist exactly the same. Basically, as brutal and as stupid as the orcs are in the old world. But then you have, you don't have any dwarfs in the future. There are dwarfs. You have alien races as the tyrants and stuff, but you don't have any dwarfs. So I know this guy, and then to, to sort of, uh, what do you say, redevelop. He used some very, very old rules for squats, which are a small race that put up moves so quick and that are very well. Uh, 
equipped, I mean, with engineering and have very, very top technology and all this shit. So he used Legos for this. He glued his Lego uh, pieces to uh, to small bases and then had a race where he, he used the right weapons and everything from the Warhammer. So he used shitloads of money on it anyway. Yeah. But he used the Lego miniatures to sort of symbolize these squats, which is a small race. So they do exist. They were mostly, when, they, when the rules existed officially, they were mostly uh, known for the, because they had this train. Imagine you have this landscape. Yeah. And all of a sudden you have a train that comes in. And speaking of which, there's actually a train right over there. Actually, yeah. there's a train track right over there. Uh, but, yeah, I can kind of see it. I don't know if you're so, okay, but, yeah. but so you had these squats and things like this. And he used Lego for this, I know that. Yeah. So, well, I know the thing got cancelled because, well, probably because of copyright reasons, I'm not sure. But it was called something about Marines. And uh, I uh, did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Game, Games Workshop has to have. Uh, they are not. They are not known for being very uh, large with the use of their logo. I know that these guys who made the kill team, they make a big deal out of establishing that this is just something fan made. It's just fun. nobody's making any money on it. The same with the fantasy version called Mordheim. Yeah. You can download the rules for free. They're originally made by Games Workshop, but there are several uh, editions made just by fans. And yeah. it really works, a lot of it. Depending on whether you're into fantasy or science fiction, Mordheim or Kill Team will be the one you choose. Yeah. Let's turn around now because I think we're gonna get too far. All right. Um, I what think we're. I think we're just gonna end it here. Then uh, I guess I'll get back to you when uh, Canada is going to show me stuff in his car. Then uh, I can get back to you guys and I can film that. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. He is going to show me. This is it, right? Standing next to the car right now. In this windy, windy place. You see, I found some old discs. I don't know if you can show these. These are old discs. You don't use them anymore. Yeah, basically, nobody uses them. Floppy discs. So, we found this. This is not from a toilet. Could be, but it's not. And glued these together with a normal glue gun. So, the principle of it is you make a lot of these guys. A few with some variations like this one mm -hmm. so eventually when I have a few of them left there's one a bit longer this is the sort of if you notice like this is the walking uphill yeah in the end I'm gonna no, well the next step is I'm going to put some uh, I have some white paint I have a lot of it I'm gonna mix the paint with a little bit of sand mm -hmm. and then put this on so this gives another texture to walk on makes it look a little bit more like grass when I eventually paint it black and then in the end dry coat it with green so you're gonna have some kind of green element of this bridge I might, blue, I might put some of it at the end, some blue at the end of it, so that it supplies water if I want like that, or sand, I don't know what the ground is going to be like yet. But the, the concept is, this is going to become one long bridge with a small, uh, there's going to be, at the middle of the bridge, we're going to have this, which is an old toy, I don't know what it's from, some Playmobil or whatever, uh, that I glued together, making this sort of the middle intersection of the bridge. And in the end, I have a little tower, I'm going to finish off and uh, have sort of holes, uh, loopholes through. So this is going to be, all of this is going to be one long bridge uh, made for a scenario I'm going to call a bridge too far, taken from the Second uh, World War. Hmm. So, and right now, it looks like shit, but eventually, it's going to be really nice. Yeah. So, thank you for showing us that. I'm going to go spend some money on that little local store, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later, I don't know. So, I'm just chilling. I've got some goods here for tonight. Kaguyo. Since 1951. And some Pringle chips. Just a little update for you guys. I can't wait to get started on this. Hello, guys. Little update. I'm just chilling outside. You probably can't see my face, but I just wanted to let you know. I'm chilling outside, just thinking, thinking my own thoughts. Cars driving by. 
Um, the kiosk over there. There's two containers right there. Um, got some chairs, some trash cans. But fuck that. Why does that matter? Um, what matters is. I'm chilling. That even doesn't even matter that much. I just wanted to update you guys on the situation or what I'm doing, like how I am right now. How I'm doing, you know. But that's just it, guys. See ya. All right, guys. So I'm back home, and I gotta say it's been a good weekend. I enjoyed being at that place, kind of. Now we're now it's, I'm happy that we got a vlog out of it. This is definitely something I can go back and re reflect on, like uh, two, three years later, maybe. Um, I guess we can. Um, I guess you guys can do that too. Like, see, oh yeah, I, I were at that place and. Shit like that, but it's probably mostly me that'd be interested in going back uh, to look at what I've been doing back then, what I did, where we're and stuff like that. But anyway, so yeah, you got to see one of my foster brothers, and I I think I'm probably gonna have more of them. In, some videos like you probably get to see more of them like if they want to but I could definitely imagine Kenneth being in one of the blogs or being in uh, more videos I guess if um, if you guys want to see him see more of him and if well if I just happen to be a place where he is and I'm about to film so uh, who knows But I do miss uh, having a um, sadistic Beneath uh, or Lemmy Cuba 5 in vlogs, even though I haven't really had, had him in that many vlogs. Gotta say, we, we still we still had a decent time. We, he were uh, in some decent vlogs, or he were at least in some vlogs, and I thought it was a good time I had with him. Um, and I hope to meet up with him again one day and maybe do a little vlog. Um, we'll maybe talk about Bangle. A little crazy. I guess when me and him are together, it can um, get a little crazy. I can tell you that. You know that from the Kane vlog. But, um. <clears throat> but I hope to do a vlog like that again with him. So if that can be arranged, I will definitely uh, crank a vlog out like that again. But I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens. I'm gonna look into it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. You got to meet some people. You got to see my big sister, even though you didn't get to, get to see me, much of her. If you want to see more, I guess you can get to see more of her in the future. And, um. Yeah, so that's it for me. So, Gamer Joey, one 